back to school tomorrow for many districts in our area, and that means you'll have to be watching out for school zones while driving to work. KXLY Force Tori Brunetti joins us now. And Tori, for parents dropping off students tomorrow, there's some things they're going to need to keep in mind. There sure is, and I'm sure many families are busy preparing their student to go back to school. And law enforcement is busy trying to prepare parents for school zone speed limits. The message they want to send is slow down. Speed limits in school zones are about 20 miles per hour. Now, if you are caught in Washington going anywhere from 1 to 5 miles over that, be prepared for a $189 ticket. 6 to 10 miles over, the ticket jumps to $210. Now, anything more than 10 miles above the speed limit per hour, the ticket starts at around $300. Now, in Coeur d'Alene, officials want to remind parents that they have a no-tolerance policy for speeding in a school zone. If you are caught driving 1 to 15 miles over the speed limit there, you will be fined about $116. 16 miles over is going to cost you $140. Now, in Spokane, most speed zones will be carefully marked, some with even flashing lights, so the message is clear, slow down. Now, just to give you an idea of just how important it is to slow down in these school zones, According to the National Highway Tra Traffic Safety Administration, a child is 17 times more likely to die if struck by a vehicle going 40 miles per hour than if struck by a vehicle going 20 miles per hour. So once again, the message is clear, slow down. Reporting live from North Central Spokane, Tori Bernetti, KXOY4 HD News.